Hey guys, before we start today's video, I want to talk more about Dossier Perfume. I got sent two more perfumes by Dossier, so I want to go over them. Um, if you didn't know what Dossier is, it is a perfume brand that makes inspired by um, luxury designer perfume scents at a lower price. So I did receive two new perfumes from Dossier. So these are actually two new perfumes that I have never tried before. Um, this is the first one right here. So you guys see this is what the perfume looks like and it actually did come with a little sample of the perfume so you can just determine if you like the perfume and want to keep it and continue using it um, by the time you're done with this you would have a better understanding if you really like the perfume or maybe it just isn't for you and you can decide that you don't want to keep it um, but then here is the perfume right here and this one is Floriental Orange Blossom. This one is actually inspired by Estee Lauder's Beautiful. Actually, I have never smelled Estee Lauder's Beautiful before, so this is a new scent I was able to discover through um, Dossier. If it wasn't for Dossier, I probably would not have been able to discover this perfume, um, but I'm going to go ahead and smell it. And it definitely smells luxury and designer. It does not smell like a cheap perfume. Um, so I'm excited to start using this one. Now I have one more um, perfume I was sent by Dossier. And also each perfume does come in its own little box like this and it does come with a card and on the back of it it tells the scent and all about this scent and what um, it was inspired by. So this one is the Floriental Vanilla and here is what it looks like. This scent was actually inspired by YSL Black Opium. Um, this is the Florental Vanilla. So again, this was a new scent I was able to discover thanks to Dossier. And it definitely smells like vanilla and I love it. This would be perfect, I feel like, for fall time. It has the vanilla um, scent to it and I just think this would be a perfect scent for the fall. In my last Dossier video, I actually did um, compare the Inspired by Dossier perfume to the actual real high-end designer perfume, um, and you guys would be shocked by um, the comparison. If you want to check that video out, I will leave it linked down below in the description. But thanks to Dossier, everyone is able to try um, and experience high-end designer scents at a lower um, reasonable price so you can discover new scents or you can also order your favorite luxury designer scents inspired by on Dossier's website for a much better price. Like always if you guys are interested in Dossier I will be leaving the website link down in the description along with my discount code to save money. Also I will be leaving the link for both of the perfumes I showed you guys today um, down in the description. Alright guys, now so we are going to jump into a TJ Maxx and Marshalls video. So if you want to come with me and shop at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and see what I found at the stores today, then just keep watching. But before we start today's video, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you. I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers, so I want to thank you guys so much for that. And also, I will be having a big giveaway once I hit 2,000 subscribers, so you definitely want to stay tuned for that. And without any further ado, let's go shopping at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So I am going to be starting in the perfume, and the first perfume I seen was this Michael Kors um, perfume. This is the Glam Jasmine perfume. This retails for $116. Next, we do have Juicy. Um, this is Viva La Juicy, and they actually do have this at Ulta for $58, but it was only $19.99 here at Marshalls. So I am starting out at Marshalls first and then TJ Maxx. Next, I did find this Kim Kardashian perfume. This is an extremely small bottle. I tried looking it up and I just couldn't find it anywhere. Um, they did have it for sale on like eBay and places like that, but it was only $5.99 here at Marshalls. Next was this Hollister perfume. This is Festival Night. Um, actually, Hollister no longer carries this, and I really couldn't find it anywhere online. Um, 
It did say the retail value for it was around $60, but it's only $19.99 here at Marshalls. Now we are jumping into some makeup, and now we have some Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. This foundation is around $40 on Bobbi Brown's website, but it is only $17.99 here at Marshalls, so that's like half off the price. That's a really good deal. I've never tried Bobbi Brown Foundation before, um, but anyways, next we have this MAC palette. This is a travel exclusive. I couldn't. This palette is no longer um, sold online anywhere. You can only buy it on eBay, Macari, places like that, um, but yeah. Next, we have this e.l.f. cream eyeliner in the shade Coffee. Um, this does retail for around $4 usually, and it was only $2.99 here at Marshalls. And then we have some Physicians Formula. This is the Butter Blush, um, and it was only retails for $13. It was $3.99. I've never tried the Butter Blush, but I have tried Butter Bronzer, and I really do love the bronzer. Um, next, we have a e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. This is Opposites Attract eyeshadow palette. It is retails for $14, um, but it was only... Wait for the price. Um, it was only $5.99 here at Marshall, so it's a really good deal. But some of the eyeshadow did look like it was starting to bust a little. You guys can probably tell. Um, next, we have these Pure um, Pro eyelashes. So these are false eyelashes. These do retail for around $14, um, but they were only $4.99 here at Marshalls. And then next we have some more eyelashes. These are the House of Lashes Sephora Collection. Um, so this is the older collection they have here at Marshalls, but the newer collection retails for $15 a pair, and these were only $4.99 here at Marshalls. So this is a really good deal. Next, we have these. Um, this is a Volt Lashes Volume Curl and Full Flare. These do retail for around $10 on the website, but they are only $6.99 here at Marshall's, so that's a really good deal. They had tons of different eyelash sets like this. Um, next, we have some Beauty Blenders. These are Peep Beauty Blenders. Um, they do retail for $16, and they were only $7.99 here at Marshall's. Next, we do have the Cream Shop. Um, this is a Beauty Blender Duo. This is They are called Next Gen Blender Set. Um, these were the purple ones. They were $4.99. And I actually did pick these up because I was in need of some new Beauty Blenders. Now we are back to some makeup. And this is the Bare Minerals Blush for $8.99 here at Marshalls. Um, but usually this is around $23 at Ulta. Next, we do have these Tweezer Man tweezers. Um, this is the Slanted Tweezers. These do retail for $23 at Ulta, um, but they were only $12.99 here at Marshalls. And then now we have um, some Givenchy. So this is a lipstick from Givenchy. Um, these are around $38 on Givenchy Beauty. Um, but this is actually on clearance at Marshalls for $10. So it's an extremely good deal. And it was like this brown shade. Next, we do have another MAC exclusive. Um, these are no longer being sold on MAC's website or pretty much anywhere online. Um, there was some on eBay and places like that, but they were very, very expensive. Um, and this was only $19.99 here at Marshall's. And then next, we do have another MAC set. Um, this is the Fix Plus set. This is another exclusive limited time set that is no longer sold um but actually i would have liked to have this set and i kind of regret not getting it but it was only 17.99 here at marshall's now we are into some skincare um they have these clean and clear lemon exfoliating slices for 3.99 and they do retail for around 10 dollars on amazon and they are an amazon choice um, next we have the Clean and Clear Lemon Juice Toner, and it does retail for around close to $8 on Amazon, um, and it is also an Amazon choice, but it is here at Marshalls for $3.99. Now we do have some Lange Lip Sleeping Mask. Um, as you guys know, they do have several different, um, ones of these, and they've had them at, here at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, but anyways, these were only $15.99. 
Now we have the number seven serum activating pads. Um, and these do retail for around $20 at Target, but they were only $7.99 here at Marshalls today. Now we have some Cervectin TL. This is the Net Cream Concentrate. Um, this does actually retail for around $95 at Ulta. It was only $19.99 here at Marshalls, and they had tons of these. So that's an extremely good deal if that's something you guys use. Um, next, we have Pacifica. This is the Crystal Youth Gem Infused Facial Lotion, and it was $4.99. I could not find this one anywhere online. To compare the price um, next we have the cream shop times trolls this is the pump up the glow um, rose water hydrating shimmer mist and it was only $4.99 here at Marshall's now we have some Basha this is the um, charcoal pour putty so this does retail for $38 at Ulta but this was only $12.99 here at Marshall's Next, we do have this Sephora. Um, this is a mousse hemp, a hemp mousse mask. This does retail for $8 at Sephora, but it was only $2.99 here at Marshall's. And it was a pretty small bottle. Next, we do have um, some hemp's. So this is the hemp's lotion that retails for anywhere from $20 to $23. It was only $10.99 here at Marshall's. Um, and I love hemp's lotion, so I definitely recommend picking that up if you guys catch that at TJ Maxx or Marshall's. Now we are at TJ Maxx, and we have Morphe. This is the Maddie Zegeller um, set. This is a cheek and lip set for $5.99. And then next we have in that same um, line of makeup, this is the Dew Balm. It is a lipstick. This was $12.99 and this was only $4.99 at TJ Maxx, but retails for $12.99. Next we do have Honest Beauty. Um, this is a lipstick crown. This does retail for around $12 on their website and it was only $2.99 here at Marshall, so that's a really good deal. And I do love the Honest Company. Um, next, we have Physicians Formula. This is the Butter Highlighter instead of um, Butter Bronzer. They have Butter Bronzer, Butter um, Blush, and Butter Highlighter. Next, we do have some Pixie Beauty, and this is a Illuminating Tint and Conceal. It was only $5.99 here at TJ Maxx today. Next, we have this Makeup Revolution. Um, I believe that's what it's called. That's what I call it anyways, but it does say I Heart Revo Revolution. Anyways, this is the donut palette, um, and it is the pink version of that. Next, we have some Milani Prime and Perfection Face Primer. Um, this retails for $6.99, and it was only $2.99 here at TJ Maxx today. And I actually did run into quite a few different Milani primers. Um, this next one is the Prime Light Face Primer. This one does retail for around $10 um, on Milani's website. This one was only $2.99 here at TJ Maxx. So that's a really good deal on some primers. Um, next is another Milani primer. This is the Prime Correct Green Primer. It does actually retail normally for around $12.99, but it was only $2.99 here at um, TJ Maxx. Next, we have some e.l.f. concealer. This is the Flawless Concealer. I don't believe I've ever used this e.l.f. Flawless Concealer. Um, but anyways, it does retail for around $4, and it was around that price here at TJ Maxx. Um, but anyways, now we have some MAC. This is the Dazzle Shadow. It does retail for around $21, but it was only $8.99 here at TJ Maxx. And it was a very pretty, like, goldish green shade. And the shade was called I Like to Watch, I believe, is that's what it said. Next, we have this Ardell um, Lash Box. So it does retail for around $24, but it was only $10.99. It does have quite a few different lashes and come with a glue. Next, we are into some little skincare. This one was actually sitting in the skincare aisle. This is a Cover FX um, Crystal Infused Elixir Mist. Now we have some Hey Honey. This is the Come Clean um, Facial Scrub. This does retail for around $29, and it was only $9.99 here at TJ Maxx. 
Um, I haven't seen some Hey Honey products in a long time, so that was pretty cool. Um, next, we have some e.l.f. skincare. This is a set. This is a oil control set, um, and they do have this set for $16 at Target, but it was only $6.99 here at TJ Maxx, so it's a pretty good deal on that e.l.f. set. I haven't tried too much e.l.f. skincare. Um, next, we have this Maraud. This is a clean, a clear skin at home um, kit. This value says $159. Nordstrom did have it for around $40, but it was only $39 here at TJ Maxx. Next, we have some more Hey Honey. This is the Endless Body Massage Cream to Oil. Um, this does retail for around $30 on Hey Honey's website, but it was only $9.99 at TJ Maxx today. And then next we have a couple sets um, by Burt's Bees. So I was trying to look it up to get a compare on price for these Burt's Bees set, but there is so many different Burt's Bees sets. Um, so yeah, I think $12.99 is a really good deal for the set compared to the prices I was seeing online. Um, and then here is a, another Burt's Bees set. This one is the Hand Cream Trio. It comes with three different hand creams, um, a lavender and honey, orange blossom, pistachio, um, and then a lemon one. It was like $8.99. Next, we do have um, this. I've been seeing other people finding this, and I wanted to find it, but I finally found some. It was $9.99 here at TJ Maxx, um, so that's a really good deal. Um, I have used this brand. I think I've actually used this one right here. This is like the milk leave-in conditioning um, one. I have actually used this. I got it in a BoxyCharm, and I really liked it, um, but yeah. I was super excited to find these today. All right, guys, that is all I have for you in today's video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video.